All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna do a quick demonstration of how psyllium works, how it expands when it comes into contact with liquid. So before we do that, however, I wanna just say that psyllium is one of two fibers that I take in supplemental form. I also take, take apple pectin. I do not consume apple pectin that you get at your typical grocery store that you use for making jams and jellies that's mixed with other unnecessary toxic additives. I take Now Foods supplemental capsuled apple pectin that comes in, again, small little capsules that are easy to take. It's like nine bucks for a 60 day serving or 60 day supply at 1400 milligrams. You can even get away with just taking 700 milligrams. And if that's the case, you have a 120 day supply of apple pectin for about $9. Excellent deal. This is really cheap, however, as well. I think I paid $7 for this, a little less than a pound, four ounces away from a pound. This is the powder. I actually prefer the non-powdered version that hasn't been milled and ground into a fine powder. Um, I find that it's fresher that way, but this is the only thing that iHerb had available at the time that I was shopping. So, psyllium, when you take it, you usually take it in a liquid. I put five grams in my Venom Shake every day. Link in the description box below if you wanna find out how to make that because if you take psyllium in a smoothie like my Venom Shake, you won't be able to taste it. This stuff does not taste good on its own. It actually tastes quite vile. So what happens is when you put psyllium in liquid, over time, it expands. It turns into a semi-solid. It expands in size, it thickens. And it goes through your alimentary tract into your digestive system and it acts like a broom where it picks up particulates, garbage, undigested foods, toxins, etc. So psyllium husk, according to my research, does indeed bind to heavy metals in the system, but it does not have the binding capacity or capability to the extent that apple pectin does. I like both of them. I'd probably pick apple pectin if I had to pick one and I was on, you know, a desert, if I was on a deserted island for the rest of my life and I had to pick between psyllium and apple pectin, I'd probably go with apple pectin. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Well, I think that's largely because of the pectin. So I don't really like eating apples. Personally, I don't really like much fruit, but supplemental apple pectin is remarkably beneficial. I first learned about that from a chiropractor named Dr. Artis. He was talking about binding heavy metals and getting them the fuck out of your system. So without further ado, let me just show you how this works. A lot of people who take psyllium take it in capsules. And unfortunately, when you take it in capsules, the dosage, dosage, if I can speak today, usually is not enough. You want to take between five and 10 grams. I prefer five grams. So, and a lot of people don't really know how much this thickens up because they don't by the time they drink their smoothie, how would I explain this? A lot of people who have been taking psyllium for a long time, they're taking it in capsules, so they don't really get to see it firm up. And on top of that, many people, when they put psyllium in a smoothie, they take like 10 minutes to finish the smoothie. And because of that, it hasn't been like really firmed up yet. So they don't really know what it really looks like when it firms up. And I'm just doing this as a fun little demonstration. I want to show you guys what psyllium does when it comes into contact because it with water because it will really show you what it does when it's in your system. So we got some water. Let's do a little bit more. I'm going to use a scale. I've got a Gemini 20 by American Way Systems. This is old. It's rusted a little bit. I've got my wake up. The scale is missing one of its legs. So sometimes it doesn't zero out quite well. Let me just get a spoon, clean it off really quick. I might not even need a spoon. Let's weigh out five grams. Let's tear the scale. I'm gonna do 10 grams. Let's do 10 grams of psyllium. That's about 11 grams, that's fine. So we've got 11 grams of psyllium. Put the scale aside. And I'm gonna use a coffee frother, this handy dandy tool to mix it. These are great investments, you guys. This is like 12 bucks. What you do is you put your powders in the liquid and then you go like that. This makes spirulina or any herbal powder effortless for blending. If you guys are struggling because you're stirring stuff in with a spoon and the stuff's clumping, your powders, your spirulina, your chlorella, 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 chlorella excuse me guys, 
If you're having difficulty blending any herbs or powders, get one of these. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description box below. So let's put our psyllium right in there. It's already starting to fall a little bit. So I put five grams again in my smoothie every night. If you have constipation issues, this is gonna help big time. You want to, however, you guys, let's stir that a little bit more. You want to, uh, if you're gonna consume psyllium, do it in a smoothie on an empty stomach. Don't do it after you've eaten because you're gonna feel remarkably bloated. So I'm gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back. So it's a liquid now, as you can see. But when we come back, it's gonna be a gel. And that gel goes into your system and expands and helps eliminate toxicity from your system. All right, guys, so it's been about 30 minutes and you can see that the psyllium is now a semi-solid. It's like a gelatinous, or it's gelatinous, excuse me. It's very thick. So this goes into your intestines and brooms them. So let's just take a look at what this looks like if we dump it down the drain. Look at that. Looks kind of gross, guys, but this stuff is remarkably beneficial to your entire gut. It's something that I've been taking for years. It's something that I believe in. This is a very beneficial form of supplemental fiber alongside of apple pectin. I think everybody should use one of the two. Peace be with you.